Hello YouTube, this is Dynamic FA. ABB Robot Training Applicable Programming Number 18 Palletizer. We've been, we've been doing programming for the palletizer. Uh, in the last video, we have correct the path and also homing uh, after the pallet done. So today, I want to uh, do optional homing in the beginning. Uh, when every time uh, robot restart the system, we always have same same uh, condition, but except uh, 300 millimeter. So if the robot is in the home position, uh, only not moving, but is the other position, 300 millimeter up and go. But now I want to add one more condition for uh, optional homing with the parts. If the robot has gripper uh, with the pass, then robot uh, swing around to the nest and then put that uh, carton down on the nest. Like uh, something happened and then like a carton, uh, the bottom of the carton is open and then product fall down or whatever reason. We don't uh, want that carton, then uh, we can just send the carton to the top of the nest and then uh, we pick up next key palletizing so i have already done the uh, program so i want to show you uh, simulation and then i can explain uh, what's in the program what's been changed okay uh, okay uh let's see conveyor started and sorry, uh, there's a memory not reset. Reset. Uh, okay. Uh, reset. Set. Because uh, this one does putting the pattern on the uh, nest because of the it, it had a pattern on the grip of before it reset. Okay, let's start the conveyor. The palletizing. Okay, now I'm going to stop. Stop it in the middle of the way, and then if I press this button, this is button is same as PP to main. Okay, I start it, then it detect a carton, go back straight up, putting onto the nest. And then come back for waiting for the pickup. And then uh, the conveyor started. The robot will pick up and then keep palletizing. Okay. Okay. This is a. Uh, this was very simple change, but uh, it's very interesting here. Yeah. Uh, first thing I did. Uh, IO system here DI02 uh, part on gripper. I have added this signal and this one actually connected to smart gripper. Uh, smart gripper has a sensor, sensor is on, then part on gripper uh, signal is on, and uh, it's very simple connection. Anyway, so if you see the program, uh, that signal in the program, then uh, here, uh, here first. Uh, I'm not sure whether you can remember it or not. This one, this much wasn't here. The previous program, if be home position first, then do this. I have added this much. <coughs> Sorry. 
Yeah, zero two. Part on gripper is one. That means signal is on. That that means signal part is on the gripper. Then mess mess display the message of part is detected on the gripper. A robot will drop the part on the spare nest. And then <coughs> this much you might uh, familiar with these two sentences. The same as this. These two. This one, lift it up to 300, uh, read the current position and lift it up 300 mil higher than current position. Uh, and then it goes to P spare nest above. P spare nest above, I made it, uh, I put the position. And this one is above the nest. And then this one is uh, uh, dropping position. And then come back down and this this one reset the di gripper on then drop the part on that and move j p start nest above go back up and then p home move j p home uh, 1000 uh, so go back to home position and then you can start uh, this is the program i have changed there's another point we must change otherwise uh, will make so many problems here uh, this one here because uh, uh, if you reset every time when you start from the top of the master job top of the main job main routine then that means uh, it just turn off the gripper and if you turn the gripper signal off then it just drop the cart in the air so that's why I have option so if the gripper, uh, part on gripper on is zero, on part on gripper is zero, that means there's nothing on the part, then you can reset. But if you have something on the gripper, then don't reset the signal. That means we need to keep the signal and then keep moving. And I have commented these two because uh, every time start from the beginning, then it will reset. But this, this, we should have something for this. Because every time you reset uh, from starting from the main routine, then uh, you reset the drop number. You can't program like that. So sometimes you can you can have an option. You must have an option. So an operator have to choose. I want to keep going or I want to reset the number. I remove the pallet. I got empty pallet. Then you can reset. But if not, uh, they don't want to reset, they want to keep palletizing, then you can just, I want to keep going. And then robot keep palletizing. So then we, I'm going to do that option programming next video. Okay, um, okay, this is done. Uh, this is done. Uh, this is all I've done. So if we start from uh, I'll show you again. Uh, start. Go back to nest. Uh, no, this is uh, memory has been reset. Sorry, I, I can't do like this. I have to delete all these three. Uh, I think uh, Robo Studio have a uh, memory problem, so sometimes memory not reset properly. So I have to manually reset it. Anyway, start. Okay, go back to home position. Turn the conveyor on. Pick one up. Second one coming. Don't worry about this one. Just the memory. Stop. Ah, oh, sorry, too late. I need one more. Stop. 
Now, if I start it again, then I'll go back straight up and put it onto the nest, spare nest. And back to home position, waiting for the pickup. Okay, this is all for today. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.